<coughs> well, hello everyone. Hopefully I'm recording. I'm coming out to the garage now to show you something. I ordered a part. I'm going to make this video the uh, first, this is the first portion of the next video, I think it's part three, on the frozen axle. Okay. This is a uh, standard slotted screw that I have to remove. I ordered an impact driver in the slotted, it's 11 sixteenths is how I measured it, and there's two of them. Let me come on over. Oops, the other one is right there. And uh, Unfortunately, that part is going to be in on February 18th or later to the 24th. So I'm going to make this video which shows me getting the unit on the lift off the truck. And it's going to sadly uh, sit here till I get that part to try it. If I have to break the bolt and stuff, I will. But uh, I'd like to try and use that driver. For the subscribers I have, <coughs> thank you. And I apologize I don't have all the tools I need, but I never will. And this is a 40-something-year-old tractor, 1980. Boy, some people graduated in 1980. Anyway, I hope you enjoy my videos. I do it, actually, because I frankly enjoy it. That's about it. Anyway, take care. Thank you. Everything tastes good on a Ritz. You can hear the Kubota running out there. It's a cold, frigid day. It's snowing in Tennessee, so I guess I'm glad I'm here in Alabama, but we're going to get ice a little later. Got some ice right now. There it is. Okay, I went and checked the weather. According to my fancy uh, heater thing, the outdoor temperature is 28 with 96% humidity. I think this is what they call uh, hog killing weather.
All right, I got a couple heaters going here. I got my table that I'm going to place uh, that unit on so I can work. I'm thinking how I want to configure and set it up. If you notice that black thing right there in front, you see a screwdriver pointing directly to it. I have uh, metal plates that hold on to the scissor jack. This is a lift table. And uh, there's the, uh, the pump for it and the valve control. I modified it. But I have those metal pieces because uh, it can bleed down over time. And uh, so it's secure for the heavier items that I do put on it. So let me get this uh, lift set up and tied somehow, I think. Okay, here is the axle, here is the book, hopefully, I don't know how well some of this light may or may not work, but what we're looking at is I had to remove the axle because I needed to get access to, so the instructions say you got to remove the axle. Uh, differential nine. Okay, here's a picture of the axle going across here. It's on studs, and you see this little screw right here. Okay, that uh, holds the unit together. What happens is across here you have two brake pads. And plates and you have an expander and I'll show you in a later video that when I go to install it it pushes and the brakes push against the side and all that is self-contained in this unit here okay so when it froze up what I ended up doing is I've taken it off so I can work on it and if you look right here okay you'll see one of the two screws. So the other screw should be up over here somewhere. There it is right there. Okay, I don't know if you can, if this is zooming in on there or not, but here's the other screw that I'm going to try and attempt to get out. But the first thing I need to do is to clean it. There's a spot here to take off this plate. And I think, as I look at this, that all this will uh, come off freely. But I do want to clean up in here uh, lube it up, clean clean over here, and get all that done. And looking back on the pictures, so if it's not clear, turning the page here. Okay, okay, this is where they say that you got to take off the, uh, the axle. And this part here is what you're looking at there. And if you look at an earlier video, you will see uh, it's probably not this side. I think it's the other side of my uh, tractor that's uh, spaced out. You can see moisture here so it'll be interesting to see what this 
looks like. Anyway, yep. Okay. Let's see. That's it. Is there another picture? Okay, here's a description of brakes, but it's the, uh, not the, this unit. Here's this unit's brake. It has a master cylinder pump. You have these uh, pieces here. That's the piston. Those are your brake pads. There's a unit with the balls that I'm certain are all frozen up. And we can take a look at that here in a second. Plus on the back, this is where we had the, uh, the, uh, the brakes. And you'll see that later. But that's in essence it. Coming around to give you a uh, look inside. Okay, you can see where it was exposed to weather. There's a brake pad that you, uh, boy, if I can point this, but there's the, the ball. In the, arr, let's see, there's a way to do this. Okay, can we, is that going to work? The answer is no. Uh, okay. I have no way to point all this out, but if you look in between those two bolts there, that's the uh, center, uh, the metal that expands out, and that should go all the way uh, flat, I do believe, on a good break. I'm going to walk over and see if we can see one here real quickly. These are the uh, parts I ordered. Those are the pads, and if you take a look, you can see they look nice and uh, fresh, and I can't get to the other part. I'll, I'll show you in another video, but all this looks like rust and a mess, and that's, that's part of the problem. So let me uh, start cleaning this up and get ready to, uh, to see if I can remove those screws. Take three, believe it or not. Uh, and I'm not happy. But this is, I, I felt bad, so I wanted to make sure that you can see the uh, pieces and parts that are going to go in. Okay, I tried to do it in the video earlier, and, and that just didn't work out too well because I had issues. But those are basically the three parts, the four parts that are required for the brakes. You'll see here the, uh, the uh, a pair of... Uh, round uh, chrome devices where this piston sits across and pushes to expand them. As that expands, you'll see a chrome, or maybe you won't, come on, zoom in. Uh, let me get up above. You should see a chrome. Oh, man. Right there by my finger, I'm going to move and gyrate. And you should be able to see, or I can plainly see here, a bright chrome ball that, uh, <laughs> oh, you gotta love it. Uh, see, can I get it to work there or not? Take my word for it if you can't see it, okay? There, there is a uh, chrome ball, there appears to be three of them. Okay. And you have three springs that are uh, here. When you take a look inside, you see the one uh, chrome ball where the leg would go and then the other that's missing right here, there's, there's a bunch of white stuff there. And right down there in the center should be the uh, chrome ball and you see nothing. It's all rusted, overheated, what have you, and I need to remove the two little screws that are here that I have a part on order for. There's one, two is uh, over there. And the bit should fit perfectly and I would like to reuse them. And that's why I'm waiting for the uh, part. Okay, and uh, my goal is to take that off and, and, and work from there. And so anyway, that's it. I do plan on covering just the top because it'll, I'll run it this year without brakes and uh, pull off the other axle next fall when I can get it into the garage because I got other things I gotta get going on and, and take care of. 
basically another track two trackers that need their fluids changed I got at the moment so okay I just wanted to give you this extra footage so you could see what it is and if you take a look there's a part number there so 560.01.730 and that's the uh, the piece I think it was a couple hundred and two hundred fifty dollars let's call it that uh, for the stuff from memory okay well Thank you.